The First Amendment protects freedoms of speech, press, religion, assembly, and petition. This sounds straightforward, but the First Amendment is still the subject of continuing interpretation and dispute. So let's look at the freedom of speech, which gives Americans the right to express themselves without fear of government interference. There are a number of categories of unprotected speech, including obscenity, true threats, incitement to imminent lawless action, and defamation. But deciding what speech falls within these categories is difficult. In reaching these determinations, courts often look at speech on a case-by-case -case basis and consider the context in which the speech was made. For instance, political speech, support or opposition of political figures, parties, and or policies, enjoys stronger First Amendment protection. If speech is political in nature, no matter how outrageous and offensive it might be, it may still be protected by the First Amendment. So, yeah, this gets complicated. The First Amendment protects you from government punishment for what you say in most instances. However, the First Amendment is not unlimited. It protects you from government action, not the action of private organizations or people. Unless you're employed by the government, complaining about your boss could get you fired. Similarly, since social media websites are for the most part private entities, they're the only ones who can police posts on their respective sites. Similar to freedom of speech, freedom of the press allows people to express themselves through publication. This important freedom enables our journalists and reporters to freely report news and stories of public interest. But this also comes with some limitations. For instance, defamatory statements are not protected. Again though, what constitutes defamation also requires a fact-intensive investigation. In addition, the First Amendment protects our right to peacefully assemble or gather together as a group for like-minded social, economic, political, or religious purposes. The First Amendment also protects our right to protest the government. We are free to sign petitions or even file a lawsuit against the government as well. And lastly, in guaranteeing the freedom of religion, the First Amendment prohibits the government from establishing a state religion or from favoring one religion over the other.